North Korea has raised an alarm over a possible nuclear disaster. This after its leader, Kim Jong-un, said that he will respond to the U.S. military threats with nuclear weapons. Kim Jong-un slammed U.S. for carrying out the aggressive war drills. He said that Pyongyang will respond to total confrontation with an all-out confrontation. U.S. has been trying to strengthen the regional security cooperation in recent weeks. And this includes carrying out the joint military exercises. They're also looking to strengthen the military cooperation with South Korea and Japan. The first snow of winter started yesterday, and it is very cold and frigid, and that's significant because the energy infrastructure has been hit. So not only does that mean people's lights go out, it means they can't power their stoves, they can't power their heaters. In a lot of places, they don't even have drinkable water because they need the electricity in order to purify it. So it's pretty miserable conditions, especially in places like Kherson, which is a newly liberated city. <clears throat> Pardon me. So people there have a lot to celebrate, but when the Russians left that area, they sabotaged the grid. So people are living in rather primitive conditions, to put it pretty bluntly, again, without water, without electricity, and without heating. Now, two firefighters have been killed at Lima's airport after a passenger plane hit a fire truck during takeoff. The airline Latin crashed into the fire truck traveling at high speed. The aircraft continued its course after hitting the fire truck, leaving the rear badly burnt. The domestic flight had 103 passengers on board, and the airline said that no passengers or crew members were injured or killed. The prosecutor's office has said that it will launch an investigation into the possible crimes of culpable homicide and injuries. Meanwhile, airport operations have been suspended and will remain closed till 1 p.m. local time. FIFA has confirmed that after discussions with officials from the host country that there will not be alcohol sold within the perimeter of those FIFA stadiums, some eight of them that are going to be used throughout the tournament. Now, back in September, Qatar had said that it would permit alcohol to be sold at these venues three hours before a match, about an hour after a match, but not while one was ongoing. But now even that decision has been reversed, saying that they're going to focus the sale of alcohol on some of these other sites. Now, uh, Budweiser, who has the contract with FIFA to sell beer at these events and has, dating all the way back to 1986, that's a deal that's reported to be worth some $75 million, uh, the sale of its products that don't have alcohol in them, so those non-alcoholic beers, that will not be affected by all of this. Now, the Biden administration has given Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman immunity from a lawsuit over the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. The announcement has drawn condemnation from the journalist's family and friends. In October 2018, Mr Khashoggi, who'd been critical of the Saudi regime, was killed and dismembered by Saudi agents at the Saudi Arabian Consulate in Istanbul. Sure. So this was following an instruction from the US State Department to the US Justice Department and in turn handed down to the Federal Court of New York because there was a lawsuit that has been brought by the fiancé of murdered journalist uh, Jamal Khashoggi to hold Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, personally responsible for his murder.
With no let-up in the war in Ukraine, Finland says it'll start building a 200-kilometer fence along a section of its 1,300-kilometer-long border with Russia. It'll cost around 380 million euros, the border agency said, and it'll take three or four years to complete. There are fears that Moscow could encourage migrants to try and cross the border as a way of exerting political pressure. Meanwhile, Helsinki still hasn't joined NATO as Turkey and Hungary fail to ratify its application.